Welcome to day seven, where we'll look at Power BI integration with Synapse Analytics. So I'm here in my linked services, and I'm gonna create a new connection to Power BI. Actually, very handily enough, it's popped up to connect to Power BI. So I'm gonna click Power BI, and I'm just gonna name this Synapse Workspace, or Synapse Analytics. And I'm gonna select from my Power BI tenant, a pre-existing workspace. Now this is actually an empty workspace that I've created. It is a pro workspace, so this works without having to have premium. And I'll save that link service. Now what I can do is, under my develop area, if I go into Power BI, I can see that I've got this Power BI datasets link. So what I can do is I can create a new Power BI data set. I can select a data source. So what I'll do is I'm gonna select my existing dedicated SQL pool, but you can select a serverless SQL pool as well. And it'll ask me to download a PBIDs file, which is essentially a data source connection file. If I open that file, it's going to open Power BI Desktop and automatically connect to my dedicated SQL pool. So that we can see it's connecting. And I should be able to browse tables very soon. So here we go. So what I'll do is I'm just going to be very quick and just load a couple of tables. Load those in. I'm going to import those into my Power BI data set. And from here, once the data has been loaded in, I can do any modeling that I need, create relationships, create measures, etc., and publish. And what I'll do is I'll publish back to my data set. So I'll say Synapse Analytics. And I'll put it into that Synapse Analytics workspace that I've linked to within Synapse Analytics. And once that's been published, I'm going to flick back to Synapse Studio and carry on working with that data set there. So from here, I'll go back into Synapse Studio. I'll close and refresh. And now, I have that data set available within Synapse Workspace. So now I can actually click the little report icon, and what I'll do is I'll hide these windows, and now I've got access to be able to build a report within Synapse Studio itself.